Hamish, obviously some good news today, mate. Yeah, it was. It was um, obviously it was pretty pretty concerning when I did it there for a while. I've, I've probably missed enough footy now with injury, so I didn't want to really miss any more. And as a result, getting the scans back and showing no structural damage. Hopefully now I can just ice it up, recover during the week, and yeah, hopefully be right to go this week, maybe. So you're hopeful of playing this week? Oh, that's what the that's what the aim is with Doctor and, and Steve and, and the physio. So hopefully, it's just all about um, icing and recovering and hoping you know, it pulls up well over the next two or three days so I can actually do some running later in the week and we'll know more then, but you know, it's all a positive result all around. It must have been a bit of a scare initially when you went down. Describe the feelings. Oh, it was a scare. It was um, probably more of a scare for my mum as well. She made her way to the back of the interchange bench after I did it, so she was, she was probably more worried than me. But I guess it's just, you're always scared when you go down and, and I was in a lot of pain actually, it hurt a fair bit and I was really worried about what I'd done and to um, yeah, to, to know today that it hasn't been, it's not too much damage and no, it could still be an outside chance of playing this week, hopefully, so no, it's all positive and yeah, hopefully no more injuries for me, fingers crossed. And it was a reoccurrence of an old injury, is that correct? Yeah, I hurt my PCL back in, in 2008, I actually don't have a PCL anymore and yeah, that's it, that's the injury I've sustained on the weekend. I, I've kind of uh, just kind of stirred up all those muscles and all that area again, and I'm not the actual, I'm not the doctor behind it, but I just know I've, I've stirred up all that behind my knee and given a good old wrench, really, and it's a bit of bruising there, so I've just got to ice it as much as I can and all that recovery to make sure I'm right to go this weekend, hopefully. And what's the pain levels like today? Uh, not too bad today. Um, obviously, the doc gives you not the right medication to, to null the pain, but last night and, and during the game was, was quite intense. Last night, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Obviously, just trying to ice as much as you can, and obviously it's just taken away, so you don't get too much, too many hours in. But I'm sure I'll sleep pretty well tonight, and yeah, rest up during the week, and hopefully be right to go. And disappointing to sit on the sidelines and not be able to be involved towards the end of the game there. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't a um, good day all round for us, was it? So, I guess personally, on my on my side, I, I guess I was starting to build into the game the third quarter, and, and my form was starting to, to build into the game. So, unfortunately, to go down personally it was disappointing. But then as a team. As a whole, we didn't play too well, and you know it was, it was a real disappointing day. And now it's a big game this week against Port. We've got to make sure we win and get back to, the, to even the ledger at four and four. And uh, what's the mood like around the club today? Boys are probably pretty desperate to really turn things around. Yeah, boys are you know, boys are going to be boys. We're all up and about. We're just going to make sure we, you know, review the game, make sure we uh, improve the areas we need to improve, and make sure we come out and. And win this week. It's a real must-win game. It's, it's really tight now, from you know, from third or fourth down to twelfth. There's probably one or two games between the, um, each team. So if we come out and win this week. We'll probably have to sneak back in the eight. It'll be right near the near the mark. So big game, big week of the track, and you never know.